What is the left AIC pattern? The left AIC pattern is a description. It's a description of muscular activity of your body that positions your pelvis into a rightward orientation. So this is my right. All right, so the muscle activity of the body in a left AIC pattern positions the pelvis to the right, oriented to the right. The left side comes forward compared to the right side. What's important to keep in mind when you're trying to remember this, postural restoration is walking and breathing. So this position correlates to right stance. If you're on your right foot, this is how your pelvis should be. When you go to your left foot, you should be in a right AIC pattern. So the pattern should switch. If you go to your right foot, your pelvis is oriented to the, to the right, and then you go over to the left, and your pelvis is still oriented to the right, it never switches, you are now patterned. You are in the left AIC pattern. And in a left AIC pattern, and the pelvis is oriented to the right, the most common issues you'll find are a tight right adductor. The right adductor, inner thigh, stays very active when your body weight is shifted to the right side and your pelvis is oriented to the right. It should turn off when you go to the left, but since your pelvis stays oriented to the right, the right adductor stays overactive. The left hip flexors, the TFL and the psoas and the rectus femoris, tend to be overactive, holding the pelvis on the left side forward. Also, on the left side, in the, f in the back of the hip, so if this is your leg, when the pelvis orients to the right, the leg has to turn out in order to stay straight. What, when that happens, the muscles in the back that rotate that leg out stay turned on for too long and they get tight. So a posterior hip capsule, the back side of the hip on the left side is often tight and prevents uh, and can prevent the ability to really internally rotate that left leg after neutrality of the pelvis has been established. So a tight left posterior back hip capsule. Also, one of the, and the biggest issue probably, is in order to, when the pelvis is oriented to the right, on the left side, that left leg has to externally ro rotate to the left in order to stay straight, and also it just needs to externally rotate in order to walk properly. In order to get that range of motion that it can't get because of the position that the pelvis is in, the front of the hip capsule, the anterior part of the hip capsule, the ligaments, will often weaken and st well, stretch out and weaken because of that necessary external rotation of the left leg. When that happens, you develop instability in the front of the hip capsule, and that can cause all sorts of issues. That is the big one. The front anterior hip capsule ligaments get stretched out because of the range of motion that's required and it can't get. And the only way your body can get it is by blowing through that hip capsule. Now you've created instability in the front of the left hip and left AFIR, which is bring that pelvis on the left side back and in, in order to create left stance, is compromised. The more lax those ligaments are, the longer it takes to really uh, strengthen that left side. And it's amazing how many issues are because of result or how many different types of pain result from instability in the front of the hip. And also that means if you already know PRI a little, at least a little bit, that means you really have to use left glute medius, anterior fibers of left glute medius that keeps that leg snug in the hip capsule and turns it in, turn, internally rotates that left leg while your weight is on the left leg. So that anterior glute medius, those exercises have to be incorporated very early and they need a lot of them. You really gotta strengthen that left hip and the only way you can do it because the ligaments are, are gone, I mean they're there but they're weak, is by using left anterior glute medius 
and left inner thigh, left hamstring, left obliques.